Good day, I'm Jacob Mushukwa. Eyewitness News has learned that the prosecution of murder accused Oscar Pistorius will go ahead without evidence obtained from his phone because it has yet to be analyzed. It is understood that South African investigators have been battling red tape imposed by the FBI in the US since submitting a formal request for mutual assistance. The Blade Runner shot and killed his model girlfriend Riva Steenkamp at his Pretoria East home on Valentine's Day last year. While he says it was a case of mistaken identity, believing Steenkamp was an intruder, the state will argue it was murder when the trial starts on the 3rd of next month. As Lolly Jackson's alleged killer prepares to make his first court appearance today, the Hawks say George Luca could also help them unlock various cases involving prominent underworld figures. After an almost four-year extradition battle, Luca was successfully extradited from Cyprus and brought back to South Africa yesterday. He's accused of killing strip club owner Jackson in May 2010 in Kempton Park and confessing to the crime before fleeing. Amid violent service delivery protests in various parts of South Africa over the past two weeks, questions have been raised as to how police would handle the second leg of IEC voter registrations. But Police Minister Natim Tatwa yesterday commended his officers for excellent policing during the weekend's registration drive. Residents of various townships across the country, including Beckersdal, Bronkerspreit and Kayalicha, boycotted the registrations, saying they would not vote because government did not take care of them. Meanwhile, the IEC is expected to hold a briefing on Tuesday, where officials will discuss discuss the outcome of this weekend's registration drive. And Prince Charles and his son Prince William have spoken out on the trade in illegal wildlife in a newly released video. William talks about his childhood memories of African wildlife. My father and I hope you share our belief that it is shocking that future generations may know a world without these magnificent animals and the habitats upon which they depend. This year, I have become even more devoted to protecting the resources of the earth for not only my own son, but also the other children of his generation to enjoy. The message coincides with an international conference on the illegal wildlife trade, which opens in London this week. Mashudu Masuta has your business news next. Thanks, Jacob. Papermaker Sappy says it has appointed Steve Beanie as its new chief executive to lead the company as it grapples with an industry-wide slump. Sappy said Beanie, who is currently its chief financial officer, will become the chief executive effective the 1st of July. And cement firm PPC says it will buy a stake in an Algerian cement company as part of its drive to boost sales outside its home market. PPC said it will buy a 49% stake in Hodna Cement, which plans to construct a $350 million plant in the country. For the latest news, views and video reports, log on to ewn.co.za. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.